Hey, what's up guys welcome to the world of mtech viral and i am back again with another video so as i promised you in one of my video or uh, one of my javascript video that if i'll get uh, 25 plus likes in that video then i'll be creating a video on vue.js and so here i am i am creating this video on vue.js this is a progressive javascript framework and uh, this is just a demo application which uh, i'm gonna make in this video but uh, if uh, i'll get up good support from your side then i'll definitely go uh, deeply into this and i'll make more videos on vue.js and we will create more applications so this is our uh, first vue.js application which i'm going to create here so let's get started so guys uh, this is the vue.js.org website where i am and i'll uh, tell you uh, what it is and why we have to use this vue.js so for uh, doing the front end work uh, it, it is a very good uh, you know option you have like you have an option like library uh, of uh, react.js which is uh, very popular these days and also this vue.js has more stars on github than react.js so this is also uh, something which you should look so what it says that it is approachable already know if you already know html css and javascript then you should uh, give it a try it is a versatile and it is performant so it is just a 20 kb uh, some uh, something 20 to 16 to 20 kb so it is not uh, very much in uh, very big in size so let's get started and what we will uh, gonna do here is we will install it so uh, installation process can be done uh, there are uh, you can download this Vue.js uh, development or production version whichever you want and you can keep it into one directory where you will do the development or you can use this CDN which is the recommended thing because uh, but it needs uh, internet to be connected and uh, you can just copy this line and paste into your HTML and that's it so let's create our first uh, Vue.js application so here I am in the uh, visual code visual studio code editor and uh, here you can see that this is just an html file view index.html is the name of the file and there's nothing in here and on the right side there is a preview uh, browser where uh, whatever i will done here in the html that will be reflected in the uh, right hand side on the browser so that uh, we don't have to switch to our uh, different uh, windows so let's start with creating our first uh, html app so if you don't know html then you can click on the above card and go to my html tutorials so let's start with an html tag oh so i am just using here html5 and i'll so this will give me the uh html structure by default so you can also use if you want in your this uh visual uh, vs code editor and now i'm going i'm gonna paste that line which i just copied from uh, vue.js website and this is a cdn file so let let's say it it's a vue.js app so it is kind of similar to our html application till now and in body we will have something like uh, div and uh, we can say div hash app and then i can press tab and it will create a div tag with id app and this is how this is the shortcut you should know if you don't know about any uh, anything about this div tag then you must uh, see my video about html and css and all so uh, if you will if you will watch my html video then you will get an idea what this div tag do so this is our div tag and here i'm gonna make a paragraph and i will write here hello world okay so this is our hello world app i will press uh, control command s here and till now i don't i can't see here that if, if it is reflected or not so i'll restart it by saying low live show live server preview and here you can see uh, it is uh, showing me hello world on this uh, browser page so this is the normal html which we do now we will do it using vue.js so we have a, we have already um, uh, inserted the script tag in the a script tag in the head tag of our html page now what we have to do we have to make an instance of vue.js so what we will do in below this div tag i'm going to create an another uh, script tag and inside this script tag we will write our vue.js code so uh, this time let's say uh, i want to make an instance of vue.js app so uh, what i will write i will write new 
view okay so new view means that it is an instance of Vue.js app here i will open and close curly braces and now here i can write something which view will understand and that will help me to render the html page so what i am gonna write here here is something like l this is an element keyword which Vue.js understands so l means you will specify the element on which you want to apply the Vue.js thing so here i'm gonna uh, say that this is hash tag app okay so this means that i'm gonna apply this element as hashtag app which i have declared in my html this id this app id okay so app is the id and i have to uh, show uh, i have to declare the same id here in the element tag now i can have another uh, word which is data and because you js understand this i can here like have any data and this will be a key value pair so i am going to have title and i will write here hello world so this is just a world and hello would be there so i am just uh, deleting this text and as you can see it is not reflecting here why so let's try it again live live server preview and this is working actually but this is slow so this is our title and uh, this that's all um, we don't have to do anything else now we can say here in hello i can use these two curly braces so that i can specify here the title so this is my title okay so this is the title which i used in the data of Vue.js. Uh, instance and uh, I can just refer to this title I don't have to use anything else and now let's press ctrl s and here you can see hello world which is now this is not the simple html this is uh, the Vue.js kind of html and this is working amazingly let's change this word to something else and let's say hello mtech viral and you can see this is reflecting here and this is quite interesting right so now let me show you another example so this is our first application first of all and it is working perfectly and this is actually uh, very uh, fun doing this coding because uh, i am going to show you something very interesting so let's uh, have uh, an input tag here let's say input type text and we can say here that if let's say v on which says that whenever we will do any type of input so v on is just a syntax for vue.js which means that it is an event handler like when on means uh, whatever will happen on input okay so v on input what i will do i will call a method which is say change title okay so i am saying on input change the title but this method is not yet made so what we can do we can use another property of Vue.js here which is methods and I can just uh, make methods here so similarly to data I will say change title and here I can make a function which will expect an event because uh, this is what I am going to do and here what I can say I will set the title so for setting the title i have to call this dot title so it will uh, you can use any uh, any keyword here so that because like if you have something like uh, title apart from title you have name and name like pavan then you can use here this dot name so it's uh, you have to use this this keyword to reference that uh, data item but uh, if you don't use this and if you don't if you try to use the title then it can give you an error and this is not the proper way so you have to use this dot title and then what we will do we will assign it the value of the event so event dot trigger dot value this is how you will give the value of uh, the uh, input field here so this is like it is saying that if this input type in this input type when whenever we do some input then you have to change the title and you have to uh, whatever in, uh, input you will give to this then it will assign the same input to the this dot title so let's try this 
so i am going to insert here something like p a w a n and it's not doing anything so that's there's an issue so what we are doing wrong here is we are uh, using this trigger it should be target not trigger sorry for that and now if you i will I'll, I'll do something here so, and you can see it is changing this so this is how vue.js works you have to just write here anything and it will change that element uh, uh, below this input text and you can see this is a uh, very dynamic kind of stuff and this is the power of vue.js you haven't tried so much code you have just a method which means uh, change title and uh, here is you can change the event dot target dot value and using that value you can change the title so this is the just a uh, presentation of vue.js how vue.js works i can make uh, many videos on this but uh, i need your support so if i'll get uh, around 40 likes on this video then i'll definitely make more videos on this so this is pawn from mtech viral you are watching uh, the vue.js first app tutorial and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much bye bye take care